Hi, it's Naomi back with another vlog for you guys. This time I'm going to be talking about 13 by Steve Kavanagh. Uh, this is a new legal thriller. Uh, I thought it was a standalone novel, but it is actually part of a series. Uh, a series of novels that feature the defense attorney, Eddie Flynn. Um, fortunately, this is a series that is incredibly kind to a new reader. And I was able to jump in at this point, which I think is about book four and um, I got on incredibly well. I didn't feel like I was missing anything about the characters, the plot, anything like that at all. So nice and easy to get into. Um, the main thing that hooked me was some of the endorsements on the jacket of the book. There are so many uh, great endorsements from authors like Lee Child, uh, Mark Billingham, Ian Rankin, um, and I kind of wanted to know what they were all talking about. Uh, the other thing that really caught me was this tagline, the serial killer isn't on trial, he's on the jury, which just sounds so, so crazy. And I was really, really keen to see how this could actually be done. Um, but I think that's such a great hook anyway. Uh, and then what the author does is he, he keeps you there with uh, the main character, Eddie Flynn. Um, he is an ex-con man who's had a second career as a defense attorney. There is a point in the book where he describes he is able to see if a man is innocent or not by looking into his eyes and speaking to him. And um, I think that just sums up the character so, so well. He, he wants to help, you know, the, the innocent man out. Um, and this is massively contrasted with the villain of the piece, who is uh, Joshua Kane, a serial killer. Um, now, Joshua Kane is the kind of person who has no feelings for human beings at all. He, his lack of respect, of care is, is so chilling. And um, yeah, he's contrasted really well with Eddie, who wants to kind of help people out of cases of injustice and things like that. Um, the contrast is uh, particularly obvious in the way that the novel is structured. So we have chapters turn and turn about. You get first person with Eddie Flynn and you get third person with Joshua Kane, which I think just makes you root for Eddie even more. But they have this big similarity between the two as well, between the two characters. Um, the one thing that totally unites them is their complete determination to achieve their goals. And you, you realize that from the first couple of chapters. So that's when you know they're gonna be, you know, completely at odds with one another. The main plot is centered around um, Eddie getting drafted in to defend an actor who's accused of killing his wife and head of security. Uh, the evidence against him is huge and Eddie's fighting an uphill battle. The, at the same time, the trial is also this huge, huge media spectacle. Um, it's likened to, you know, the O.J. Simpson trial, that sort of thing. So we have this added extra pressure on the prosecution and the defense. As the reader, you know that there's this powder keg environment already because of the media um, interest in the case, but you know there's actually an, an extra uh, sense of terror about this trial because in the jury you have this serial killer sitting, watching them, trying to manipulate the outcome and trying to manipulate it in a very specific way as well. Um, so uh, that's incredibly chilling and it's what makes the novel really, really gripping as well. It's no surprise that the author himself has a legal background, I think, because I wonder if that's what helps him put in all of these twists and turns that just turn the case upside down incredibly quickly. Um, I think as well, it, it keeps the book so, so fast paced. I was so keen to keep reading. I just kept just one more chapter, you know, that kind of mentality you get into. Um, and what I thought was gonna be such a straightforward courtroom drama was actually um, uh, not. There was some violence, there was a lot of action that I didn't expect, and I think that's what's gonna give it such wide appeal. So I think most obviously this book, you know, it's gonna to appeal to fans of the legal sort of thriller genre, uh, like uh, John Grisham fans, folks like that. And on the other side, I think that actually if you like kind of a hard-boiled lone wolf type of scenario like you get in the Jack Reach novels by Lee Child, I think you might like this too. Um, but I think anyone who just likes a good thriller that's got plenty of twists and turns, lots of um, 
lots of surprises, then I think you'll probably enjoy this if you pick it up. I had a great time reading it and it's made me want to go back and read more of uh, the Eddie Flynn novels because his past is alluded to in this book, but I feel like there must be such a great story to tell around it. So uh, it's definitely made me want to go back and check those out. If you've read 13 or any of the other Steve Kavner books, let me know what you think. Uh, and thank you so much for listening to me today. If you want to hear more from me, more from the other vloggers, uh, more from Waterstones in general, then please do subscribe to our channel. I will see you next time. Thank you.